Hi, this is Mark. I'm at the Intersolar 2025 here in Munich, and we are just working on selling our home box, and we're selling the solar home system in a much cooler container. And it's Thursday, it's quite busy here right now, so sort of like at the middle of the day, people everywhere. It's been quite interesting this year here, just like it is every single year, to see like where's the technology at. What is moving, what is not moving, what stays the same. See a lot of the companies that we have seen here over the years, like for example Intillion here next to us, make meetings with everything from investors to potential clients to government, corporate, that sort of contact. And so far it looks good. I think we have a few interesting prospects right now. We've been talking a lot about mini grids and electrification of remote areas in a wide range of areas like South America, Paraguay, Mexico, Peru, we're looking at some projects in Kenya, Senegal, and so on. One of the really encouraging things that we have got going on right now is simply just that the product that we've developed is really good for the marketplace. It's got the right power. It's very simplified compared to a lot of other competitors where you have a system where you're effectively maybe having to do three, four boxes at the same time, like a battery inverter, a solar inverter, and a battery, plus your switch gear. So we have all the stuff integrated into a single system. It's very encouraging to see that the system is, what is designed for is exactly what the market requires. We've had very positive feedback from the engineer. Well, that's obviously the big thing, right? When people come over, they can be critical about the system and it's a great opportunity to get feedback. And so far, the feedback has been very positive. What's funny about the Intercellar is you have all these holes with different pieces of hardware. So you have all these sections where you just have one only micro inverters and then you got another one which is only batteries and the next one is only DC junction boxes and so on. So quite interesting to see all these different technologies under, well, it's not just one house, it's actually, I think they have 18 holes or 21 holes and they go here simultaneously. So it's quite an operation. We start out an operation like this many months in advance. The real build begins loading up the truck during the weekend and then Monday morning we kick it off and then Wednesday morning the Intersolar starts and then it goes until Friday and then by the end of that you're kind of like completely smashed. Yeah, today is Thursday so it's sort of like halfway through it right now. We have had some presentations here, which has been quite cool. There's one going on over here, actually, the side right now. See what these guys are talking about. There's a lot of companies selling the same thing in different form factors and in different concepts, but more or less, you can simplify what's going on here down to a series of products that are just presented in a vastly different way. The off-grid section is surprisingly small, but even in a market like this, it's a many, many billion euro market. By just being good at the off-grid market already, it's like quite a niche market for us and something which it basically gives us sort of almost a freedom to operate. Hi, my name is Jan van der Trink. I'm from Off Grid Europe. Uh, this is our stand at the Intersolar 2025. Uh, let me show you a little bit what we have. Starting off here, we have our newest invention, the solar home system made for the African market, made for singular homes. The idea behind it being is that all you need is you have one solar module on the roof, you have this inside the house, and then a normal family can charge their phones, charge their laptops, small fridges, fans, you can see here, lights. And with an integrated battery storage, it can also mean that you can use it at night, which is a big difference that you have. For instance, just schooling options. With this, they can still go on, they can have a little bit of a cool atmosphere, they can cook something, and they can keep their stuff cool. Next thing we have is over here, the OMS box. Now the OMS box has a couple of really cool functions. It was made for the African market, meaning that it's a completely off-grid solution that you can have a PV solar, uh, solar module on. Um, even though it was made for off-grid, you can also have it on-grid. Mm -hmm. So what makes it very special is that it's an actual all-in-one system. I know a lot of people say that around here, but this is the actual all-in-one system. As the ATS system, meaning that you can put in diesel gen sets as well as the grid connectivity, means it switches between wherever the energy security and stability is best. Um, we have 211 kilowatt hours of battery storage with 100 kVA output. Um, it goes from minus 20 degrees to 55 degrees and it's made to withstand the desert. And now we're also integrating it into the German European market where we know it can withstand everything. So that's what makes it special. Scalable up to megawatt hour possibilities, cooling solution in the back. It's all you need.